Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back with another guide. Now, unfortunately, it's not too exciting. I didn't get rank 35 or anything, um, but to compensate for that, it is on my main brawler, Spike. A little ironic that I haven't gone rank 35 on him yet, just because I've spent so much time on the character over literally since the game came out. He's been my favorite character pretty much. And I did, if you guys go way, way, way back, like when I got my YouTube channel back, um, I looked at my original videos and the second video was a spike guide and you know I watched it for nostalgia and <laughs> it was um I never watched my videos just because I find them really cringy um but it was a little outdated there was there's some good information on it you know go check it out if you haven't already um but just the graphics and everything it I forgot how polished the game's been since then so I wanted to just revisit the spike topic because like i just said he's my main brawler um and i feel like i know spike better than <laughs> on a personal level you know we go way back but um i don't think there's anyone in the game that can play a better spike than me or that can beat me on spike consistently and obviously there's good spikes like i have, i give props to like yd like second like there's a few other ones um but i don't think any of them can beat me like consistently on spike even though they're all really good at spike just i think you have to have that mentality um but yeah guys so today's video is going to be spike guide and we are starting it off with this description so hold on let me get my phone out all right guys um so for spike's description he is a squishy brawler um i guess she if you're using soccer spike i'm pretty sure soccer is a girl but <laughs> doesn't matter um squishy brawler mid to long range you got to use your spikes i call them spike rngs because they used to be rng but they fixed it now it's a set pattern and i'll show you guys the pattern professionally illustrated by the way take in the perfect circle all right <laughs> so you guys can see the lines are supposed to represent how the spike explodes um and you really have to like play around with it a little bit i find a really good way to learn the pattern is just by dodging it so just get on the spikes lane and just like predict where it's gonna break and you get really used to it um typically you'll want to use the horizontal ones they're the easiest and then just kind of you go with like the vertical diagonal ones um and you just play around with it you have to think of it as like an extension of your shot in a sense and it's just practice so you'll get used to it eventually um it takes a little bit because it is something else to think of and you can't just like auto aim it you have to like actually like aim it and he's a really fun brawler to play around with just because there's so many like unique things you can do with him um and then for his star power just don't ever use curveball okay even if it becomes like the best star power in the game just please don't ever use it it was oh my god that was the worst point in brawl stars history for me um and then his super so um he has a pretty good super it's just a circle area denial i guess and it pairs really well with his star power so his star power fertilization actually heals him per 800 per second which is a ton of healing um they actually buffed it a lot to compensate for curveball because they wanted to balance them out but curveball was just ridiculous so they ended up buffing it a bunch and then they never reverted it when curveball got nerfed so it was it's like actually like really overpowered but it just kind of flies under the radar because spike he's a good brawler but he's definitely not like meta like he's not like a top five brawler right now by any means but he's still like a pocket pick like he's a niche pick so you can use him pretty much wherever and he will go even with a lot of lanes so i'll touch on that in a second but um let's get into his best mode so his best mode right now is 100 percent brawl ball and the other maps like gem grab just the maps got really like they're so different from how they used to be it's not like straight lanes anymore so he doesn't do as well with people just jumping on top of him on like jump pads and stuff like that but the Brawl Ball maps, they've kind of stayed the same, I guess. Like, they're pretty consistent with their patterns and stuff. So he fares really well in Brawl Ball, and he's just outside of top five in Brawl Ball for me right now. Second, we got Gem Grab, and like I said, he used to be the best brawler in Gem Grab for a long period of time, but the maps have changed, and they don't really fit him as well as the old maps did. 
So he's kind of dropped down a few notches, but he's still a really solid pick in gem grab. Next up, we got Siege, and I'd put him higher in Siege. It's just there's a lot of throwers, and for me, the throwers are the biggest counter for Spike. But now the meta, it's kind of shifting to tanks, so he is a really good tank killer. And again, we'll touch with that a little more in a bit, but he's definitely really viable in Siege. He fits really well on all the Siege maps right now. <sighs> Next up, we got Heist. Um... He's okay in Heist. I mean, he's not bad. He's not good. There's definitely some maps you can use him on like Hot Potato on a lane. But again, you just because people like Barley in Heist and like Tick and you know, if, uh, Spike vs Tick is just a headache. Um, so, you know, be careful if you're choosing him in Heist. It can work, but it's going to be harder than the other three modes that I just listed. And then the final mode for Spike is Bounty. He doesn't do too well against long range brawlers, which is just the bounty meta. It's what the most designed for. So you don't really want to use him in bounty at all, um, just because he's really squishy too. And yeah, just <laughs> don't use him in bounty. For the solo modes, well, I guess we got rid of takedown and Lone Star. Thank you. So for solo showdown, um, he's probably like mid to mid table. I'll say mid table, just because Gene's so good and like Piper and stuff and some throwers so you can use him in some solo modes and then duo he's pretty solid too I'll say like mid table and duo too I don't play too much but um you can definitely pick him there sometimes all right so for counters we got the throwers um the most notorious counters I think the biggest counter to spike in the game is 100% tick for me um that's the only matchup that I don't think I can win unless like the ticks just playing it really wrong but I can at least tie with like all the other matchups pretty much that I'm about to list. So Tick, number one counter, 100%. Then we got Barley, who's also a really big counter. And you can use your RNGs to kind of tie with him, but the Barley definitely has the matchup. Then we got Dynamite, um, also, but it's Dynamite. So, <laughs> so he's kind of like a joke a little bit. Um, next up, we got Brock. Brock, you can deal with. He's not as good as we once was against Spike, um, just because of the maps, they don't really fit him that well, uh, besides Bounty. Piper, um, if you're in like an open lane with Piper, just GG. Penny, Penny's fine, it's the turret, that's the issue, the turret just two shot Spike, and you know, it really counters how you're supposed to play him, so um, that's why I'm putting Penny up there, and then Carl, which you're gonna get a lot of times on lane, he's just so strong right now, and they're not nerfing him, so it feels really bad, but, um, you can do some work against Carl. You just gotta like play the matchup right, play around his shots. Then we got B, who just counters literally everyone in the game. But it's okay, she's getting like a 0.4 second nerf for her shield. So that's gonna fix everything, guys. Don't worry. B meta's over. And <laughs> for the last one, we got Gene. So Gene just is so annoying with the poke, and if you get close, he can just auto aim you because his kit is really bad. So you typically don't wanna go close to Gene's. But now we get into who spike counters. So we got the tanks, which is Frank, Bull, Primo, Rosa. Um, spike plays really well into all those. I'd say especially Frank and Rosa and Bull. Bull, Bull too. Just Primo when he gets his jump can be annoying. But the rest he plays really well into. And with the tanks, it's more about just like landing a good super and just kind of chaining it from there. So you gotta like time your supers really well. And then he also plays really well into Shelly, Nita, Ems, and Tara. Just kind of like four laners that his kit um, matches up really well against, I find. And it's probably my favorite matchup into Tara because every other matchup, you kind of have to go close and give the Tara some value. So eventually she'll like build up her super. But with Spike, you don't have to do that. You can like outrange Tara the entire time and just give her like zero value. So I really like that matchup on most maps. All right guys, so general tips. Um, I think this is the most important part of the guide, so listen up. So you gotta learn the spike pattern, which we touched on a little bit. I showed that amazing drawing. One more time, just admire the circle. But learn that drawing. <laughs> okay, not the drawing, but learn the pattern and just play around with it. You can actually get some really cool angles off by like shooting walls and just trying to like hit people if they're like really tight against the wall. Um, and I don't know, it's just playing around with it and learning it. Then next up, we got positioning. So that's really important on Spike. And this also depends against who you're playing, like what matchups. Obviously, you can't be super aggro against a thrower, but like against a tank or someone you want to like 
constantly pressure them so they can't like regen you want to build up that super catch them in it and then just like really like body your lane and go, go over and this brings us to our next tip um pinching so spikes rng is literally so underrated for pinching just because it stops regen and its range is insane um so if your lane's kind of a stalemate and you have like an open shot on mid with like one of your like vertical rngs just go for it instead of like your lane and you'll just build up your super which then you can use on your lane and it just like applies a lot of pressure so um it's something for your opponent to focus on and worry about so i always recommend like looking at the map when you're playing spike and just seeing like if your lane's kind of a stalemate like where else you can be active and help out your team next up we got knowing when and where to use your super so you don't always want to just throw it out right away um and you don't always want to use it aggressively let's say you have fertilization and you're running kind of low but Sometimes it's just important to keep position right, so you might want to just like toss it on the ground and heal up. That way, um, you don't lose the position and your team gets pushed back really hard. Or, you know, you could use it on your lane, but your mid's getting pushed in really hard, so you might want to just toss it there um, and, you know, just cut off the angle um, that they're pushing up. Or, for instance, one of my favorite ones is in Brawl Ball when your teammates looking for a goal and they're trying to get in the net to defend it just toss it even if you're not getting any value just prevent them from going there um it's all like situational and again you're gonna like figure it out the more you play spike when and where to use it so you just gotta like really get used to it i guess i know i keep saying this um but just <laughs> i can give you guys advice it's just you gotta practice and see what works best for you Alright guys, that is going to conclude the Spike um, guide. If you do want to watch the cringy old one, go back to my old videos. It's like one, I think it's my second video ever. And you can just see like how far the game's come. It's really funny and you can just admire how bad my quality used to be. It, there's still room for improvement, don't get me wrong. But <laughs> it is just, I can sit through the whole video. I don't know, I can't watch myself um, in recordings and stuff. It's really cringy to me. But um there are some good tips in there, and I do go a little more in depth on the pattern. I couldn't put a get, uh, room together this time, so if you do want to see it like being like practice, then go watch the old video um, or come to one of my streams because I've been doing one v ones lately, and Spike usually gets in the mix, and there you can like see the dodging that's supposed to be done and everything like that. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.